Hi, it's John Coast Mesa R&D. Today I have a Volkswagen cylinder that's going to be going in an off-road buggy. And the client has asked that I take and give him a little bit more clearance because this is for a racing buggy, not something you drive on the street. And to do that, I had to make up a fixture, as you can see right here. That's this porcupine looking thing. The idea is to mount the cylinder on this. and then put something on top, torque it down so that we actually squeeze the cylinder a little bit. And what that does is to simulate the stress of having the cylinder head on the cylinder. Well, I had a uh, old VW head that I kind of mangled up here, but it actually is going to work very well. And it goes on just like so. I'm going to use some hardened washers on here and that's very important on these VWs is to use a hardened washer instead of the standard washers that you get from the factory. You have more consistent torquing throughout the uh, torquing process and the head stays on a little bit straighter I believe. Anyway, we're going to show you how this is done. Alright, these are the washers I'm going to use. I don't have thick washers but I do have these thin washers and I'm going to put a pair on each one of the studs, like so. And then I'm going to be using these nuts here, which are actually Porsche head bolt nuts for an early 356. I like them a lot because they're easy to use. Get these started. do this you want to do kind of an X pattern when you snug these down. We've got our torque wrench set to 25 pound feet. By using this cylinder head, we actually do simulate the same stress would be on the cylinder as if it was installed in the engine. Alright, I have everything to size, now I'm going to use my plateau home brushes to finish off the cylinders so that we can get rid of all the little burrs and all the little sticky things that come off in the honing process.
We're doing about 20 strokes here, and we're doing about 20% load. Now what that'll do is give us the correct plateau finish that we need for the rings to seal. Whenever you hone or grind whatever process you use, you need to really use some sort of a brush-like uh, device or tool to go in and take off the fine little what we call swarf. If you have questions about cylinder finishing, cylinder boring honing, let me know. Uh, this is John Acosta Mace R&D. We'll see you soon.